Hi, I am Arinyiris Konstantinidis, and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Computer Science at the University of Cyprus. In this talk, I'm interested in the design and development of a patient-centric user authentication system. This work is partially supported by the EU Horizon 2020 Serums project, which is a project about securing medical data in smart patient-centric healthcare systems. Advancements in computer and communication technology enable the rapid growth of electronic health systems, which nowadays provide various electronic methods, such as obtaining online consent or exchanging medical data. In this context, user authentication is an essential security task within modern healthcare systems, which is performed daily by millions of patients and medical staff across the globe. Based on a literature review on the healthcare domain, we can conclude that the majority of current healthcare organizations apply traditional text-based user authentication solutions. However, studies indicate that the text-based user authentication within the healthcare domain is not adequate due to known security and usability issues. Furthermore, a high number of research projects and works propose new alternative user authentication solutions that embrace multiple factors for authentication. <clears throat> One of the objectives of the Serums project is to deliver a viable, personalized, and flexible user authentication solution that is based on state-of-the-art practices in the healthcare domain and in parallel, applicable within the consortiums and user organizations. The Serums user authentication system, coined FlexPass, is based on a flexible, personalized, and multi-factor user authentication paradigm that combines knowledge-based user authentication along with token-based user authentication utilizing push notifications on smartphones and smartwatches. Our approach attempts to provide a new user authentication paradigm that leverages upon theories from cognitive psychology, such as episodic and semantic memory and dual coding, which suggests that humans' episodic and semantic memories, represented as verbal and visual information, can be transformed into memorable and personal authentication secrets. Such secrets can be semantically similarly reflected on both textual and graphical password keys and accordingly used complementary based on user preference and individual characteristics. Hence, the paradigm relies on a single user-selected secret that can be reflected as a textual key and as a graphical key. However, such an approach introduces a new kind of observational attack since adversaries know the format of the password and they can see the set of pictures. Accordingly, to add an additional layer of security to the proposed approach, we use a second factor for authentication through push notifications before allowing access to the system. In particular, users will be required to approve a push notification that will be realized as an SMS notification including a one-time passcode and as a mobile application notification. With regards to the architectural design of the user authentication component, the application programming interface is implemented as a Django application in Python 3 using the Django REST framework, which is an open source library intended for building web APIs. Furthermore, to support fast request response cycles and deal with time-consuming tasks, we use Celery, which is an asynchronous task queue based on distributed message passing. We also use RabbitMQ as the external message broker solution required by Celery. To store users' data, we use PostgreSQL, which is an open source relational database management system commonly used within Django applications. 
Moreover, we use credential hardening to prevent offline attacks through the use of hash-based message authentication codes, which employ the transport layer security private key of the web server. For the deployment of the Django application, we use the Apache HTTP server. And finally, the integrated user authentication component is built and deployed using Docker. With regards to the design and development of the user authentication system, we follow a user-centered design methodology aiming to assure that the solution meets the user's needs and expectations in terms of security and usability. So far, we have designed and developed the first proof of concept user authentication system, aiming to get feedback about patients' preference and opinions regarding the suggested user authentication flexible paradigm. To do so, we conducted two controlled lab studies with healthcare organizations in which we invited individuals to interact with the user authentication component we implemented. We recruited 55 participants from two large-scale healthcare organizations, and the study involved the following steps. First, participants were briefed about the idea of FlexPass. Then, they interacted with all the components of the FlexPass proof of concept, such as puzzle creation, login, push notification, and reset puzzle process. Finally, participants responded to a questionnaire. The questionnaire was designed to elicit users' preferences, their opinion about the proof of concept, as well as included questions about perceived usability, memorability, security, and trust. Preliminary findings with regards to the proof of concept are encouraging for further investigating the suggested flexible and personalized user authentication approach. In particular, we found that 42 out of 55 users perceived the FlexPass system as secure. 35 out of 55 users perceived the FlexPass system as easy to use and 14 out of 55 as moderate to use. Regarding memorability, 44 out of 55 users responded that they could effectively recall the password they created in the FlexPass system. Also, 20 out of 31 users trust the technology and its ability to keep their data private and secure. Finally, 25 out of 31 users would be willing to adopt FlexPass as an alternative user authentication system. That's pretty much it. Thank you for your attention.